Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel, so it's very much appreciated. Today's video is all about the Dalmatian. In this video, you will learn why a Dalmatian will or won't be the best pet dog for you. No matter what you have heard, Dalmatians make excellent pets. They are strong, energetic, smart, and noble dogs. They do mature slowly and are somewhat strong-willed so the correct training is a must. Training them does take a lot of patience but both you and your pet Dalmatian will be better for it. Like all breeds, they have certain needs and limitations. With the right start, they can become a pet that will be much loved and will make any family proud. We have decided to mix this video up a little bit and will be talking about the pros and cons in no particular order. Common health problems in Dalmatians. Dalmatians are beautiful dogs who love to be active. Unfortunately, like many purebred dogs, they are prone to certain health issues associated with their breed. There is currently testing and screening for some of the problems Dalmatians can have. If you're thinking of buying a Dalmatian puppy, we'd recommend getting one from a Kennel Club Assured Breeder. This is a good idea as they meet extra requirements including health screening. Parents having the relevant screening reduces the chances of your puppy being affected by these upsetting conditions. We'd also recommend discussing the medical history of your potential puppy's parents and grandparents. Think very carefully before taking on a dog with any of the health conditions listed above in the family line. Some of the health conditions Dalmatians can develop include Atopy, sensitivity to certain allergens such as pollen and dust mites, causing itching. Urinary conditions, including bladder stones Dalmatians can carry a gene which means they can't process a substance called uric acid so it is excreted in the urine, uric acid can then deposit in the bladder and sometimes the kidney. This can cause irritation, infection, or even a blockage, which requires urgent veterinary attention. There is a DNA test available for this. Epilepsy, a brain disorder that can lead to seizures. Deafness. There is BAER testing for this. Hip dysplasia, where a hip joint doesn't fit together perfectly, which will eventually lead to arthritis. Before breeding, dogs should be screened by X-rays through the BVA, Kennel Club Hip Dysplasia Scheme. Caring for a Dalmatian. Dalmatians can be great pets for active households. They love nothing more than spending time with their owners and burning off all their excess energy. Due to their stamina and muscular build, they may not suit every household and shouldn't be left unsupervised with children. This also includes vulnerable adults or older people. You'll need to give them plenty of exercise to keep them happy and healthy. Like any dog, Dalmatians can get bored easily. They need to be physically and mentally challenged and need plenty of company. This helps to prevent them from becoming destructive and potentially chewing your furniture to pieces. The more there is for your Dalmatian to get involved in, the happier they'll be. Dalmatians and Barking As with any dog, Dalmatians are likely to make noise and it's down to the individual dog how much they bark or vocalize. Dalmatians aren't known for being particularly vocal. However, a bored or lonely Dalmatian may see barking as a way of letting you know they're unhappy. If you're having problems with excessive noise or barking, we recommend seeking the advice of an accredited behaviorist. Dalmatian training and socialization. Dalmatians can be strong-willed so they'll need ongoing positive, reward-based training. This requires plenty of patience. For experienced owners, their intelligence means they can be easy to train as they'll really enjoy learning new things. If you aren't an experienced trainer or a first-time dog owner, then you should ask for the help of an accredited trainer. Socializing your Dalmatian as a puppy is an absolute must. You should mix a Dal puppy with lots of other dogs, different people, and types of experiences. This will help them become a confident, well-rounded dog. Dalmatians need company so we would recommend a household where there is always someone at home with them. If this isn't possible you should never leave your dog alone for more than 4 hours. 
As Dalmatians can suffer from separation anxiety, you may need to train them to be left alone for very short periods. Dalmatian exercise needs. Dalmatians are full of energy and like to be on the go as much as possible. This makes them best suited for active families with enough time for their needs. In the past, Dalmatians were used as watchdogs and ran alongside carriages and are therefore very energetic dogs. They are strong dogs so don't forget to train them to walk nicely on the lead when you're out and about. Dalmatians are so high energy they need a minimum of two hours of exercise every day. This needs to be done in at least two walks, ideally with a chance to run in a secure area. On top of this, your Dalmatian will need plenty of playtime. This can include free time in a secure garden and training sessions to keep their brains active. Because of their intelligence and desire to run and play, Dalmatians do well at flyball and ability. Dalmatian grooming. Dalmatians have very low maintenance coats so they're ideal if you'd rather spend your time playing with them than grooming them. Unfortunately, they are really big shedders. Dalmatian owners often joke that they only shed once per year. What they really mean is, they shed constantly all year round. Dalmatians aren't ideal if you're quite house proud or have fur allergies because they shed a lot throughout the year, more so during spring and autumn. Dalmatians are known to suffer from skin allergies and certain products can make this worse. It's advised that you speak to your vet if you're looking for a dog shampoo to use on your Dalmatian. Dalmatians and Children Dalmatians can be friendly dogs and good with children, but they are very high energy. They tend to be better suited to households with older children. This is due to their larger size and strong build which means they could knock over smaller children accidentally. As Dalmatians can be very excitable when they're younger, they may be a bit of a handful for adults unfamiliar with the breed. It's important to always supervise your Dalmatian with children and vulnerable adults. Dalmatians and other pets. A well-socialized Dalmatian should be fine with other dogs. They are not known for being aggressive and so plenty of positive experiences with other dogs from a young age will help develop their friendly personality. As Dalmatians were not bred for hunting or herding, if they have grown up with another pet in the house they should get along fine. That said, always supervise your Dalmatian with smaller pets and introductions should be done very carefully. Remember, even the most placid Dalmatian may get the urge to chase. Food for a Dalmatian. A Dalmatian's diet will vary depending on their age, lifestyle, and any medical conditions it may have. You'll need to feed them a complete, commercial dog food to keep them slim and healthy. You should feed them a good quality, commercially available, and complete dog food. Remember to leave a gap after eating and before exercising. The costs of owning a Dalmatian. You can expect a Dalmatian to cost you a minimum of £105 per month after purchase and setup costs and over £17,000 across their lifetime. Costs you'll need to think about include Purchase costs Adopting an adult dog from a rescue center may be a cost-effective option, with the added advantage of giving a home to a pet who really needs one. If instead, you're buying a puppy from a breeder, you'll need to factor in the cost of the pup. Beware of unusually cheap puppies as they could come from a puppy farm. If you'd like to buy a pedigree Dalmatian puppy, we recommend looking for a Kennel Club Assured Breeder. These breeders must do extra health tests and meet certain standards of breeding. Puppy vaccines, if you rescue a dog, reputable centers will often vaccinate them for you. Remember that ongoing booster vaccinations will be needed to continue their immunity. Neutering, you should usually arrange for your dog to be neutered at around 6 to 12 months old. Your vet will be able to advise you exactly when is best. Equipment, including a collar and tags, lead, harness, dog beds, dog bowls, pet safe toothpaste and toothbrushes, grooming brushes and toys. Keep in mind that all these will need to be replaced with wear or damage or if your dog outgrows or damages them. Ongoing costs. Food. Well, this one is obvious but worth mentioning. Preventive health care budget for routine vet visits to help stop your dog getting ill and catch any problems early. They need annual checkups, vaccinations and regular flea and worming treatments. 
Check if your vet offers a healthcare plan as this can help spread the cost throughout the year. Vet bills asterisk or pet insurance. If you don't have pet insurance and your dog needs veterinary treatment for an injury or illness, costs can rapidly mount up. Check what's covered and what isn't when comparing policies. Other costs. Training. Basic training is very important and dogs can benefit from formal classes. Interesting Dalmatian facts. Fun facts. Dalmatians are best known as fire dogs. They used to run behind fire carriages because they get along so well with horses to make sure the horses weren't spooked by the fire. Dalmatian puppies are born white with no spots at all. Generally, they don't get their spots until they're around four weeks old. No two Dalmatians are ever the same. Each Dalmatian has a unique pattern of spots on their fur. Dalmatians are so high energy they can run for a long time without getting tired, so they were used to transport messages during World War II. So there you have a small list of things to consider regarding whether a Dalmatian is the right breed of dog for you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.